Hey Life Sock Crew, I am so sorry we've not been together and I've really been thinking about you guys. I won't talk too much about it because then I'll get all choked up. We're supposed to be having our meetings, sitting around, <laughs> sorry for the men, sitting around the, the big circle, having our regular club meetings. But I've been thinking about all of you and with weigh in looking a little different this year, I thought maybe I'd make you a video about how to weigh your animal at home. And I'm gonna do a sheep and a goat and also show you a different tool if you don't have a, any type of tape measure at home. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about and I hope this helps you. And a uh, big shout out to you seniors that just graduated, very proud of you and definitely missing you guys, definitely missing you. And I can't wait to see you in the summer and just get everything going again and see you in your smiling faces and know what's been going on for your quarantine time. So. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to weigh, I guess the sheep, the sheep first, it keeps hollering. If you can find yourself just a tape measure, it usually comes with a sewing machine. It comes with a sewing machine. It's soft tape, and there's a way for you to get a weight. It's not precise weight. it's a average weight. We've done it a couple of times and I feel like we're somewhere within a 10 pound range, but at least it's close enough to know that you're on track if this is all you have. <laughs> While they're still small, you have a bathroom scale option. You can see right here, I got the scale out. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna weigh them using the scale and then we're gonna weigh using this and we're gonna compare just so you see what how we're doing. Cause at some, <laughs> point, at some point, they're gonna get too big for me to pick up. So I can't use that anymore. If you do not have a soft measuring tape, there's another option. Find yourself a string. You'll see, you'll see how I measure. One of the measurements is heart girth, which is right behind the legs. Here to the top, pull it down. I would take this string and I'd get a ruler or I'm gonna use my yardstick. And I would put the string on the yardstick <laughs> and I've got about 26 inches. So <laughs> if you don't have the weight tape, if you don't have a sewing soft tape, you can use string. <laughs> you can still measure your inches using the string. Okay, so don't forget that. There's always a way. All right, so first off, let's see what my back <laughs> bathroom scale tells us about Louisiana here. 160. All right. Now I step off. I'd let this go back to normal. Hold on. I pick up the lamb. I get on the scale. Two ten minus one sixty says she's fifty pounds. So let's see what the weight tape says. This is the heart girth. If I pinch it, it's twenty six heart girth. Then you take. From the shoulder bone, get her standing up here. From the shoulder <laughs> to the back pin bone, right here at the back. And I've got, I've got eh, I'm gonna go with 24 and be a little reserved here to make sure I got it. So I've got 24. So according to the formula, <laughs> if I do, Heart girth times heart girth times length divided by 300. So that gives me 36, no, 26 times 26 times 24 divided by 300. 
54 pounds using the, the weight tape. So, which one's more accurate? I'm thinking the scale's more accurate because the tape, I still don't account for exactly how I'm holding it down on the wool, but I've, I've confirmed using this that I've been within five pounds using this. So I feel comfortable when she gets to 70, 80 pounds, I feel comfortable if I use this tape. I can kind of see that she's within a five to 10 pounds of what I'm guesstimating using this. That's about as far as I've gotten it on it. So that is the sheep. All right, so we've got Buddy, who's not the best halter bro. He's flipping out a little bit. Come on. All right, so I am gonna weigh myself first, like I did with the sheep. All right, on the kitchen scale, I have it on a flat board. Make sure it's flat. All right, I'm at 160. All right, so to catch his weight, get on the scale, wait for the number to stop moving. It says 214. Put the goat down. So, to get your weight, puts him at 54 pounds. All right, so Harker's. Calculation here. Well, it's 26. 26 times 26 times 25 divided by 300 equals 56 pounds. My scale told us 54. So I definitely feel comfortable that when I cannot pick up this goat anymore on the kitchen on the bathroom scale that I'll be able to use that weight tape and know that we're on track. At, even if I use a 10 pound variance here at the farm, I know that we're on track. So that was really good to, to be able to pick that up on the, on the weight tape. So guys, I hope this helped you today. I hope that you can use this skill at home and you can try to weigh your animals yourself this summer and get a little bit more interested in learning their scales. If you if you weigh them on a Saturday and then you weigh them the next Saturday, you can even do your measurements of how much your animals weigh in in a week. And that really helps, you know, the, that your, the money that you're spending on your feed is putting on the weight on your animal and you're getting gains. So let me know if you need anything, any other questions, I'd love to answer them or help you.